Hi, Snooker fans. Curtis Braith here for DafferSnooker.com. I'm with the on fire man himself, Stephen Maguire, ahead of his last 32 match with Ali Carter in the UK Championships. Stevie, how are you feeling, pal? Feel okay. Feel good. Two good results, uh, two good wins, 6-3 six, uh, six against Lichtenberg and 6-4 against Scott Donaldson, pal. Um, I know you wasn't too happy with the way you played in your first match, but Donaldson's a tough little match player, and he has a decent result, pal. No, it is. It's the um, first match. It's just a case of coming down and trying your hardest to get over it. Um, made a bit of a struggle of it, but got through anyway. And probably played a little bit better against Scott. Uh, made it a wee bit tough towards the end, but just again, just, just managed to go over it. So I've not really, you know, I've not really clicked yet, but still in the tournament. Tough one against Ali Carter now. Obviously, Ali, a fellow top 16 player with yourself, fellow ranking event winner like yourself. Got to the semis this event last year, pal, so I know you're looking to go one better this year. Yeah, yeah. listen, against Carter, I've not got a good record against them. It's, it's, a, it's a terrible record against them. But um, there's two players in the tour that I just struggle against. And one's Ali and the other one's Robin Milkins. I don't know why, but I just know, um, I just never seen me play well against them. But the more times I play them, then maybe I'll get lucky and flip one. So hopefully that's the <laughs> Well, absolutely, pal. It's always time for a change. I mean, and I, and I suppose there'll be a hell of a lot of players on tour that ain't got a too clever record against you, pal. So it swings around about uh, that. It swings about. I mean, I've got good records against other boys, but you wouldn't expect. Yeah. And, and it's the same. Everybody's got their wee, their wee bogey, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's my tour. I know this tournament was extra special for you, obviously, a winner back in 2004, pal. Uh, I know you're desperate to get your name back on that trophy again, mate. I mean, how special is this event for you? This, this event? This particular event, how special oh, for you? The, this event, the last three years, this event's been really important because I've, I've obviously been dropping down the rankings. Managing just to pick up just now and break into the top 16 a couple of months ago again. So, the last couple of years came here needing probably the final to, to mm. qualify for the Masters. <laughs> and... I hit, the, I hit the post last year, one match off it, but coming here this year, I, I'm, I'm in the position where people are chasing me now, Yeah. so I'm in a better position, but you're still looking over your shoulder, so uh, every every round here makes a difference for me qualifying for the Masters, which I, I desperately don't like to miss out for the third time, you know, the third time uh, running, but yeah. I, in itself, this is still a big tournament, so... It works both ways. <laughs> now, I spoke to Johnny Ray and a few people connected to. I know your work ethic this season has been a lot different. You've been practicing a lot harder this, mm. uh, of late. You moved the table into somewhere new now. So is your focus a lot different now than it was for the last couple of years? Um, yeah, it was last year as well. When I lost in the world two years ago, I was playing out the house. And um, I just I knew, I knew it wasn't, you know, I was putting the work in, but it just wasn't right. Yeah. And um, so I made a decision there. It was either... It was either just take snooker a lot easier and just basically just you just know, enjoy yourself, just enjoy myself, <laughs> or make the move, put the table in an office, which I wanted to do, and um, that's what I've done. And, it, and it, I've, I've practiced hard for the last two years. Yeah, absolutely, Steve. Well, look, so look, I'll wrap things up because I know you've got practice and a few bits and pieces to do. But all the best against Ali Carter tonight. Cheers, bring on. Top man.